Hello, my name is Elizabeth and I make stuff. And this is one of my magpie journals, uh, my magpie bundles, excuse me. It is a junk journal, effectively, if you know what that is, in a fabric cover that's been scribble stitched over to hold everything together. High quality decorative um, decor fabrics for the covers. The tie is a long piece of decor fabric that's been covered so that it will wrap no matter how much stuff you throw in this. For those of you who don't know what a junk journal is, it is essentially a collection of vintage or handmade or random papers that have all been put together and bound together so that you have a surface for your artwork or for your pictures or for your journaling that isn't just a blank space and it allows you to kind of riff off of it for your own creativity. This one is called Botanica. It is loosely garden themed as you can see. It is four by six ish. They, they're a little bigger, a little smaller here or there with the dangly trim and it's pretty puffy because I don't know how to stop. This one I also, if I reach across here, excuse my reach, this one also has a loop for a pen. So if you wanna carry it with you, it's got one of those with it. So now when you get inside, this is where all the fun stuff starts to happen. Let's make sure I've got it all on camera, I do. There's fun fabric flips, there's a whole host of different pages. These, for instance, are my own handmade, like hand-painted papers that I did a long time ago. There are lots of little pockets with things inside for you to either use in your own artwork or just to keep there. You can always use the pockets for something else and use it in something completely different too. There's a lot of garden-themed imagery, of course including some real photos that I got at a really interesting thrift score. There's vintage ledger paper, lots more of those handmade papers, or hand-painted papers, rather. Occasionally throughout the whole thing, there are paper-clipped bundles of little fun ephemera on the sides, so that while you're journaling, if you need some extra ephemera, there is some, or if you just kind of like having it as a collection, you can always keep that just there and add to it as you go. Paper clips will hold quite a bit. So I tried to leave some space for journaling here and there because I know I have a tendency to cover the entire thing before I even mail it out to you. There's a lot of pockets in this one, including some tags, some collaged tags with interesting stuff that you can always take apart if you really want to. Then there's more. There's, like I said, there are a ton of pockets in this one. Some of them are, are little booklets that you can journal on and then tuck back in to these places so that you have some kind of hidden spots to, to write things that you don't necessarily want the public to see. A lot of it is patchworked, like patchwork sewn together. Um, I really like that look. Uh, it makes it feel neat to the touch, which a lot of these fabrics do that too. This one is a very tactile sort of journal. This is fabric, so you can sew that or glue that some seeds in a seed packet, more journaling space, actual photos with tags inside that you can fill out with your own fun stuff, a little fabric flip, but what's interesting about this one is it's got hidden journaling underneath. So if you want to tuck something under here, you certainly can, or you can just write on here and hide it from the world's prying eyes. Some more ephemera. Vintage book pages, which I love. Coffee dyed cardstock. So this is thick enough that it'll hold some of your heavier stuff. This is neat, this is mesh with a tag inside. And there's journaling space on the back. And honestly, when I started, or when I was putting this in, my thought was you could totally like press a flower or press a leaf or something and put it in there. I thought that would be kind of fun. More vintage book pages with a bunny. Bunnies are sort of the vegetable gardener's nemesis, but they're kind of nice to have in your yard. More journaling, lots of journaling. A Little bit of riotous color for fun. 
This, I believe, is another little booklet. Yep. Some journaling papers. This is kind of neat stuff, too. This, um, this paper is on rice paper. It's painted, and there's alcohol inks, which is actually still underneath my fingernails, but there's alcohol inks and acrylic paint, and so this feels really neat. It almost feels like fabric, but it's paper. There's another spot here with a bunch of stuff in it. More of that paper. Graph paper would be good for planning out your next year's garden. A flip, so you can flip open. More. And I loved this little dangly trim. It's so 1960s chic. <laughs> but it had to go. It had to go in here. It had to. I love some of this. these book pages. This is a contact sheet from somebody's photos. Vintage maps. This is another one of those books where I kind of didn't know where to stop and I just kept adding stuff and adding stuff. Journaling page. A little booklet. Tag. More paper. Fabric tabs. This is some interesting ribbon that I made with the scraps of fabric on cheesecloth and I just love what it does to the edges of a page. Makes it look all fancy without actually doing too much to the page even. More. Oops, this fell out. This I actually embroidered myself. It was um, practice. It was one of my practice. I was practicing making lazy daisies and I'm like, it's flowers, it's going in here. So. You have that in here that you can use for whatever you want on felt. Little fabric pocket full of little teeny scraps that would be perfect and a couple of stickers that would be perfect for your uh, collaging needs. Vintage paper, I think if I'm right, that's a tag, yep. Some stickers and stuff and some extra paper. And of course the, the um, pen loop, which is all fun. And when you're done, you just roll her back up. And when everything is pushed in the way it's supposed to, this oh. just comes right around and wraps twice-ish. And I usually just tuck it under here like this just to keep the ends out of the way. And there you have it. It usually looks better than this. There we go. There we go. Now these I am trying to get put up on the Etsy store by tomorrow around noonish, which is for anybody who's watching this at a later date, it's it'll be Thursday, August 9th, I believe. Yeah, Thursday, August 9th, 2018. It'll be up and ready for you. Um, it that's at conifercrow.etsy.com, and I'll put that up here so that you can find it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. This is my fun stuff.